king said it. So let's see what the king said. So the king said, Jesus answered them and said, Hey, many good works have I shown you from my father. I'll, I'll highlight it as I go. Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those good works do you stone me? And then the Jews answered him and saying, for good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, which means, look, speaking evil, look, vilification, especially against God, evil speaking. But for blasphemy, because that thou being a man, makest thyself God. So the Jews said that's why they were going to stone Jesus, because he being a man made himself God. Well, see, the real joke's on them, just like the joke's on the people that are freaking out doing their little hate channel. It's jokes on them. Jesus was the Lord God that made himself a man so he could come into the system and convict everyone else that had turned man into gods. Oh! Man has become as one of us to know good and evil. As one of who? Gods. Man has become as one of us. Genesis 3. Man has become, 3, 2, 2. Man has become as one of us to know good and evil. One of what? Who's us? Gods. We'll get into that on the puppet show Monday. It's going to blow. The enemy's going to run for the run for the caves. They're going to run for shelter. Because the king's coming. I guarantee it. Watch this. So here we go. So the Jews said we're going to stone you for blasphemy because that thou being a man makest thyself God again. They got it wrong. He was God that made himself a man. Everybody pay attention. Jesus answered them. What color is that word? What color are all these words? What color are they? They're red. Jesus said, is it not written in... He didn't say my law. He said your law. Is it not written in your law? Because see, when you got your host body, you got put under the law. And you have a new taskmaster. His name's Satan. And you're under the law. And if you don't get set free of the law and you don't get your sentence commuted, then you get to be food for him. That's what's up. So here it is. Jesus said, is it not written in your law? I said, look, look at these words. Read these words out loud. Ye, Y-E-R-A-R-E, -E, gods, G-O-D-S. And then he said, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. And then look at what Jesus said. And. Read these for yourself. And the scriptures cannot be broken. Then say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemous, because I said I am the Son of God. So, he just told everybody, why are you saying I'm blaspheming that I said I'm the Son of God? Your own scriptures say you're God's. He was quoting Psalm 82. I'll make it very quick, because a lot of people still seem to be stumbling at this point, And I'm going to drive it home. Repetition is the key to understanding. Psalm 82. I want everybody to look at this word. Jesus said, I said, re read these three words. Y E Ye A R E, gods. Ye are gods. And then he says, the scriptures cannot be broken. Okay, watch my cursor. I'm going from John 1034. John 1034, right here. I'm going to take my cursor. I'm going over here to the Psalms. I'll go right here, Psalm, and then watch. It's going to switch to 82, watch. Psalm 82, okay, here we go. I have said, everybody read these three words. Ye are gods. That's what Jesus quoted. He said, it's written in your scriptures. Is it not written in your law? Ye are gods. Ye are gods. And here it comes. All of you are children of the Most High. Some of you, part of you, a good part of you, or all of you are children of the Most High. What's the answer? The answer is all of you. It means the whole. Hence, all, any, or every. So see, now no one that is in a rational state of mind can argue with me. Oh my God, John and Clinton, he's a fallen angel. We've got to stop him. You know, the reason they got to stop me is because I know the truth. We're all fallen angels, folks. Why do you think I'm always falling out of the sky upside down in my port of purchase ads with fangs on? Because the Lord wanted to show me, yep, you're one of them. 
you fell into the system, you fell from heaven, you have fangs on because you became part of that vampiric system. There you go. He made sure my life was a perfect testimony to what I would be doing. So here it is. Jesus said, your gods. He was quoting Psalm 82, your gods. And the answer is all of you, not some of you, are children, look, of the Most High. So no matter what, everybody's a child of the Most High. I'm going to make it all yellow. And all of you are children of the Most High. But here, and again, you'll see this in the video I'm going to post later today, but you shall die like men. So, you're all gods. The problem is you're going to die like men because you got trapped into a host body, which is called a man. And you shall fall. Look at the word fall to cast down, to cast out, and look, and to divide. There you go. Any kingdom divided amongst against itself is brought to desolation, just like you and your body. You're being brought you're being brought to desolation. But you shall die like men. So you're a bunch of gods, you're children of the Most High, but you're going to die like men, and you're going to fall. You're going to fall, be cast down, cast out, like one of the princes from heaven. There you go, master prince and admiral. Okay, so now, anyway, that's solved.